Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aquarius for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Your person is showing up as the Chariot, so possibly a Cancer. They're viewing you as the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm, here's your energy, the star coming out in the hidden position. And the final outcome advice, we have the Nine of Swords. So Spirit wants you to wants to remind you, Aquas, that worry worrying doesn't change the outcome, right? We've got the Lover's card, Gemini energy. So I am seeing some of my Aquarius. You might be really freaking out about having to make a choice between two people. Um, and I see that. Maybe two water signs, maybe a Gemini, a Cancer, an Aquarius is involved. Um, because this person is seeing you as making a choice, but you might be really freaking out about making this choice. Now it could be making a commitment. Um, it could be choosing between, you know, if you have multiple options, it could be, yeah, it could be about taking that next step with this person. So getting married, having kids, moving in together, being exclusive, whatever that might be, you know, joining finances. So why do we have this queen of cups energy in reverse? I feel a lot of my aquas, you have a choice. Now, obviously it could be this person who's has a choice between you and someone else. They're definitely choosing you. All right, the Queen of Cups in reverse in the world. There's unfinished business here, the Nine of Cups. I have a feeling, okay, this person, you have to read between the lines of communication. I have a feeling here with the Queen of Cups in reverse, you might be feeling a little manipulated by this person right now, or you might be kind of protecting your energy is what I'm getting. It feels like this person isn't quite ready for commitment. It's like the party's not over for this person. The world card in reverse and the nine of cups. This is like somebody who likes to go out, have fun, you know, drink, sex, that type, that type of thing. And I'm seeing that like they're, I don't know, like they're not ready. They're not quite ready to give or to end that cycle in their life. Okay. Or maybe that's how you're feeling. Like they've got to shut down this cycle of like partying all the time. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're sleeping with other people or anything, but it's almost like the queen of cups. Like it's emotionally draining. Like this person, I feel like for a lot of you, they like to go out a lot or they're not like ready to like boss up here or to grow up is what I'm kind of hearing. But we're seeing this person possibly being a cancer. And with the chariot card, um, this is somebody that wants to move forward. They see you as a soulmate. Some of you, it's a Cancer Gemini cusp. Tell me more about this person. They might be coming to see you. They might be planning to visit you. The Nine of Wands energy. They're letting down their guard. They're letting down their walls and their barriers. And the Five of Swords, they want to heal things with you. You might have had a fight about this. You might have been like this, you know, you might have gotten on them about, you know, if the relationship was kind of in that weird gray area for too long, some of you, you know, some of my aquas, you may have given this person an ultimatum, you know, like commitment or I'm out of here um, or, you know, ending, you know, this partying bad behavior. It's kind of what I'm getting like foolish behavior over intoxicating, just kind of like wanting to stay in this party phase is what I'm getting. Not really, you know, not wanting to move things forward. So I do think that if you gave them an ultimatum or you told them this, it's like they want to rush towards you. Um, they want to communicate. They want to heal things. They've made this decision. They're choosing you. Yeah, you might be at a distance from this person, um, but they're definitely choosing you. They want to move forward with you. They don't want to lose you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and they're worried. They're worried that you've already made up your mind. Oh, yeah, some of you, maybe you already have. Maybe you were like, enough is enough. I've been waiting you know, I've been waiting on you for too long. 
Um, but for a lot of you, um, yeah, this person's just really worried that you've already made up your mind that they've missed it out or missed an opportunity with you. It feels like because either they, they just weren't ready to settle down or to take things seriously, or they had other options. You know, your stories better than I do, but what you don't see is the star card, Aquarius energy, healing, wish fulfillment, the seven of cups. This person is definitely feeling a little bit confused. They're feeling very heavy. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to, they don't, they don't want to lose you. I think you're getting wish fulfillment and this person is coming in with some sort of communication that they're bossing up. It could be an apology. Um, you know, they might also be kind of realizing Aquarius that they're kind of burdened by this lifestyle. You know, I don't know if they just like, they party a lot or they're just like, you know, going out. Yeah. Like I just get like going out to the clubs or partying or like they, 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 I don't know if they travel a lot and there's nothing wrong with traveling a lot, but it's almost like they're not settling. They're not settled at all. I've got nine of swords in reverse. So you're, I can see you've been losing sleep over this. I actually think your person is losing sleep over making this decision, which is possibly losing you. We get the 10 of swords. So very painful ending, but we see this there's the phoenix rising from the ashes. So there's some sort of transformation here. And the four of wands. Yep, some of you, this person's going to commit. Okay, if you are saying, you know, we need to move in together. or We need to make things official. Um, I, I feel like there's some burdens here for them. But they don't want to lose you. So they are going to make that decision. Yeah, the nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, so the, the dark night of the soul coming to an end. Or this sort of scary period. This person most likely hasn't been in a committed relationship either in a really long time or maybe even for some of you ever. And it's interesting, like they're stressing about it, but I feel that they are going to make the decision to come towards you. So that's either eliminating other options, changing their behaviors, moving in together, getting engaged, whatever it is. I feel a lot of my aquas, you gave them an ultimatum. Yeah, this person has been irresponsible, but they have a secret desire Okay, that they're holding back. Um, you and this person might be very opposite. Again, you might be like more serious or more like routine oriented. This person feels a little bit scattered and messy. They've been a bit self-absorbed. Yeah, and it feels like for some of you, you will be married to this person next year. Okay, um, but I, I, I kind of feel like this person, well, I'm going to repeat that. They've they've either, you know, they've either never been in a relationship, like a committed relationship. Um, maybe they're a bit younger than you, um, or they just haven't been in one in a while. And it's kind of been like self-preservation, but they will lose you is what I'm getting if they don't step up. And, and I feel you've told them that and they're kind of freaking out about it, but it feels like with that four of wands that they're going to make the decision to come towards you. Yeah, wisdom. See, I feel like this person kind of needs to grow up a little bit. I think that you you know what you need. To, you know, you either know that this person is going to choose you, Aqua, or you just you might have a little bit more life experience than this person. I feel like you're very grounding. They consider you very wise. Yeah, we get rescue. Tower moment. Yeah, some of you, again, you might be pulling this person out of a really unhealthy cycle, you know, of like drinking, partying, drugging, even that's not gonna be for all of you. And remember, it's not your job to fix someone. Okay, but with this energy here of rescue. Um, I kind of feel too, like you're looking like you're in this hot air balloon, you're looking at this situation there's a tower moment yeah there's a tower moment and I, and I kind of feel like you're like if this if things don't change I'm out of here and we get spirit of place yeah for some of you this person's like I don't know if they live in like you know like it, it's becoming a very specific message but it feels like I don't know if they live in like a party place or they live in a house where people party all the time or they have like unhealthy roommates or friends or something so I'm seeing that energy, like some of you, like if they just change, like they're the, like they have a change of scenery that might be very helpful for the relationship, helpful for you. Again, a lot of you, it's like about moving in together 
and we see commitment. Yeah, see, I do see you two ending up in commitment. I think giving this person an ultimatum or telling them how you feel is a better way to put it. Um, you know, like if I don't, if, you know, if things don't move forward, I'm out of here. That's having, you know, boundaries, setting your expectations and making them very clear with this person. I think they're going to make a commitment here. That's what it feels like. And they're probably leaving some sort of like immature or party lifestyle. Not that all party lifestyles are immature, right? But like they're leaving a lifestyle behind. Yeah. So Aquarius, care for and nurture your earthly body by infusing healthy choices into your life. See, I think you have a very healthy influence on this person. For some of you, like they've, they've been drinking or drugging or partying too much. Um, to offer your forgiveness to another liberates your own heart from pain. Okay, and we get new outlook. Sometimes we cannot see things for what they are. Examine the situation from another angle to see something differently. I think you, I think this person's going to have a new outlook on life. I think you are actually creating like a bit of a tower moment for them, an awakening and spirit saying that all is happening in universal time when spirit knows you've done the work and you're ready. So everything is unfolding in divine timing. I'm getting, you know, with these two cards, I see you ending up in a commitment with this person after telling them, telling them like it is or telling them, you know what, I'm out of here if I don't get my needs met. And it doesn't feel like it's in a demanding or manipulative way, Aquarius. It feels like in a way of, hey, all right, I can't live like this anymore or I need commitment or, you know, or I'm going to go find it elsewhere, right? Let's see. So spirit saying, yep, this person's going to reach out, letting you know they're thinking of you. I kind of get they're going to be hesitant when they reach out, but very loving. Yeah, the relationship is moving to the next level. There you go. And yeah, there's potential for unconditional love, falling in love all over again, giving and receiving affection. If you haven't heard from this person, um, they're definitely keeping tabs on you. All right, Aquas. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.